Hawaii's history is pretty incredible. English language actually was introduced to Hawaii when Captain Cook arrived. Every single one of them, to a T, talks about how Hawaii is farmed beyond anywhere in the Pacific. You could not grow anything more on this land. Hawaiians got this agriculture thing down. Their lo'i, their system of irrigation, land is as productive as can be. Of a nation speaking about who they are and, and what they were, and we've never listened to them. But it was that Aboriginal population that built the current infrastructure that we still use today. So that meant that the judiciary spoke Hawaiian, the bicameral legislative assembly spoke Hawaiian, the executive branch spoke Hawaiian, the cabinet spoke Hawaiian, the Department of Education spoke Hawaiian, the fire department spoke Hawaiian, the police department spoke, right? So you had a somewhat modern, vibrant, progressive country in which a multi-ethnic national population was speaking Hawaiian. It's a very diverse population. Hawaiians make up the majority all the way through. About that 120 year span, we go from being one of the most literate people on the face of this earth to one of the most illiterate. You have a complete replacement. You have a complete flip from all Hawaiian to all English. By the time Hawaii becomes a state, zero Hawaiian language newspapers. Is that a coincidence? And that has to do with the political history of Hawaii more so than social organic change. The Hawaiian language record opens up that story in a way that has not been accessible for a hundred years. Dogs in our own country. This is how you treat Hawaiians, ladies and gentlemen. Put them in jail, knock down their homes, kill their culture, and eliminate the Hawaiian race. Thank you, State of Hawaii. Thank you, Governor Ariyoshi. Thank you, Susumo Ono. Thank you, Edwin Watson. Thank you, State of Hawaii again. Aloha. Mahalo very much. I feel that we Hawaiians, about time that we, we get something out of our land, you know. Uh, They've been throwing us all over, like, they give us homestead, they give us in the mountain, we're all rocky place, and, and place that is not useful, and uh, not near the beach. They never did. They always give in the mountain. We don't want the mountain, we want the ocean, too. The prostitute is Hawaii. She's like a woman. She's beautiful. She's fragile. But you can't have her unless you pay, okay? So you pay as a tourist, you pay as a developer, you pay as a multinational corporation. The more you pay, the more you get. The longer you can stay with her. That's essentially the metaphor. Now, there's the pimp. That's the person who deals with the John, the one who comes, and the prostitute who's in the house. Now, who's the pimp in Hawaii? The state of Hawaii. The state of Hawaii is the pimp. was given to us not by men, but by the gods, the ancient Hawaiian gods from Lono, Kane, right down the line to our Mohis, right down to us. And our birthright is the Aina. Nobody can take that away from you. And nobody can take away the fact that we are native Hawaiians. We are the conscience of the state of Hawaii. It's a little thorn in this side that always shows the rest of the world that paradise is trouble, that there is trouble in paradise, and we are the trouble because they have not recognized us as native Hawaiians. They have not recognized this aina as being ours. But remember, I ask you wholeheartedly, only pa'aka'ua, stick together and be solid. And you find
find the the line is called the cojina. Halfway, and then you snap. You plant you plant one in the, in the ground, and then you're gonna get all these coming off. Yes. Yep. Yes. And what are they called? Oha. 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 What is oha? Come, what is the root word of what word? Ohana. Ohana. <laughs> what does ohana mean? Family. family. So together. They're family. That's our family. Now we we as Kanaka, yeah, Hawaiian or not, we get kuleana. Uh, kuleana to malama. Kuleana to aloha. This is Alehua Maui. Pull them, and you can see the blood. That is our connection. Lehua. Lehua Maui is the connection of, of Kalo to Kanaka, to us. And so Aloha Aina is more than just a word for us. Like we come here and we try to do it every day. You mentioned Kapuna. Okay. If you could tell me about what Kapuna is and what are you doing with this Kapuna meals thing you started? Okay, 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 okay. Aina is our Kapuna. Kalo is our kupuna. You know, the wind, this has been here longer than us. It's kupuna. And then we have our physical beings, our elders in our community, and, and in Hawaiian culture, they're everything. But somehow, in this day and age, we've forgotten about that. But they gotta be put first, just like Aina. We here with Malama, we Aloha, just like Kalo. You got a malama kupuna. <laughs>